What's up, guys? I do welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again. Hopefully, you guys have had a lovely sunny day out there. Looking forward to the weekend. If you're new, guys, please make sure you subscribe. Let's get the numbers up. Let's get to 4K very soon. And also, I'll be doing a giveaway of this nice, lovely Palace and Stella Artois bottle. So, all you got to do, sorry, it's a glass chalice basically. All you got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow my Instagram, which I'll leave the link for down below. So, today I went to um, size and I saw this lovely Nike Air Max one. So this is called the Nike Air Max one 86 OG big bubble lost sketch. I know it's a mouthful, but it's a beautiful shoe nonetheless. Um, I'll show you guys in a couple of seconds just what I'm looking at. And bam, as you guys can see there, you've got a few Nike Air Max ones just behind there. I do like the pink one as well as the one just next to this, but never mind. Look just what's in my hand. It's the lovely, beautiful shoe. What I do love about this shoe is it offers a different kind of, I think, perspective on uh, Air Max 1 silhouette. We shall compare to those two, the corduroy pink as well as the one which is next to it on the right hand side there. So now when you look at this and it's got the safari theme to it with the lower leather section, which runs all around the shoe. Then you've also got the mesh, which comes in that gray as well. And then you've got the blue as well as the light so i think it's more for lilac so you've got blue midnight blue maybe not midnight blue a few shades lighter then you've got the lilac and even then it's not really like a lilac it depends i think when you hold it in the sun it looks more for lighter blue and then you've got the gray laces as well so i think this is more suited for autumn slash winter time and usually a lot of brands you know by now they start to sell stuff for you know uh, the fall or winter and i think this is definitely suited for that as well and also the leather is glossy on the front just uh, above the toe box there it's got a little gloss to it which i do love and then so the tag's got the gray and the navy blue which says nike mx as well one thing which i hadn't noticed is the tongue on the top has got that like aluminium reflective material at the top there which kind of gives the shoe that bling wow factor the shoe is 145 pounds now one thing which i'll bring your attention to is the oxidized effect on the midsole i love it it gives the shoe more of a vintage look as well remember this shoe came out in 1986 as well so they're bringing back the og shoes as well which is nice to see i definitely love it as well and it's got a bit of a different look it feels like it's got that like history that pedigree you know which you know our fathers used to you know i guess embrace back then my father was a sneakerhead so i'd imagine like you know that time back in the 80s they would have embraced that and for us to also have this as well i think it's nice because then you can leave it for your children as well then they'll have that vintage vibe as well so it's just like a carry on basically then that's the back section as well guys now one thing with this shoe it's got different textures you get leather then you get other material which is not leather and if i can point you just above the tick there that shiny gray section well i call it aluminium i like that it just gives it just that bling that wow factor as well with this shoe i think it's not for everyone it's just for certain people like not everyone's going to gravitate towards this shoe and i understand if you don't gravitate towards it hey it's got its own people for me i for i think for one i think i'd wear this with some gray dickies i think i'll probably go for the gray dickies trousers and then i'd go for maybe like a nice black puffer jacket with a gray hoodie that would be more just you know my weekend winter fit that's how i think i'd probably go down the route and in summertime yes you can still have a little play with it you know you can look around brands do have this color as well blue as well but i think for me i'd rather stick to more brighter colors in summertime more interesting colors should i say for example look at the mx uh, one just above that orange and white one that's more for summertime color you know i like that for summertime it does work in winter but it's just like kind of geared for summertime and even the one just beneath there as well that's more for spring summertime whereas with this color i feel is just geared for the darker month guys that wraps up the video thanks for watching you guys stay safe enjoy your weekend and don't drink and drive god bless god bless